Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall and Roof here. Um, I came across this little story that I thought was really neat and a really good way to look at the fact that God really does exist. Um, obviously, he does because the creation of the universe speaks to the Creator. The creation is proof of the Creator. But the the title of the article is "I Don't Believe God Exists." And it goes like this. I don't believe God exists, Mike the barber said in a matter-of-fact way. It started simply enough. Bill went to a barber shop to have his hair cut and his beard trimmed. As the barber began to work, they began to have a good conversation, telling stories as usual. They talked about politics and the elections, the state of the economy, their families and kids. When they eventually touched on the subject of God, Mike said, I don't believe that God exists. Why do you say that? asked Bill. Well, you just have to go out into the street to realize that God doesn't exist. Tell me, Bill, if God exists, would there be so many sick people? Would there be abandoned children? If God existed, there would be neither suffering nor pain. I can't imagine a loving God who would allow all of these things. Bill thought for a moment, but didn't respond because he didn't want to start an argument. Mike finished his barbering job and Bill left the shop. Just after he left the barber shop, he saw a man in the street with long, stringy, dirty hair and an untrimmed beard. He looked dirty and unkempt. Bill turned back and entered the barber shop again, and he said to Mike, the barber, You know what? Barbers do not exist. How can you say that? asked the surprised barber. I am here, and I am a barber. And I just worked on you. No, Bill exclaimed. Barbers don't exist because if they did, there would be no people with dirty long hair and untrimmed beards. Like that man outside. Ah, but barbers do exist. That's what happens when people do not come to me. Exactly, Bill affirmed. That's the point. God, too, does exist. And that's what happens when people do not come to God, too. So I thought that was a neat little story that uh, shows how important it is to have a relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Um, the Bible says nobody comes to the Father except to the Son. So I encourage you to read your Bible and uh, find a good Christian church wherever you live. So until next time, I'm Randall M. Roof, saying thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless you. Bye.